Peck. Yeah, baby. You know what that means. Look at that. Look what's sitting in the road right now. Oh, oh, big one, big one, big one. Where? Right there. Oh. All right guys, so we are back out, I know. I'm starting in the car again, because that is always how we start out. Because you know, we're heading out. Anyway, it's a little bit different, so I'm going out with my buddy Cade. He just ran into the gas station to uh, get some gas. He's wearing his lucky shirt, his uh, rattlesnake shirt, his diamondback rattlesnake shirt. Let's see how lucky that shirt is. See if it gets us what we're looking for. Let's actually try to find the snake that's on his shirt, the western diamondback rattlesnake. Let's go. All right, mine and Kate's first snake of the night. It's a little Aatrox, so watch him. Oh, Just a little Western down back around the snake. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> no, Let's go. Oh, car. Really? I'll turn your hazards on. If I can freaking find them. They're on the. Right oh yeah, I see it. All right, so there's some ponds over on the side of the road here, and it's not quite completely dark yet. So we're gonna jump out real fast and see if we can catch any bullfrogs. Get those up close. Oh, there's some over here. Yeah. Oh, is that one right there? Right there. He's looking right at you though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, covered in mud. What right here? Oh, there's wait, there's a little one, a little bullfrog right there. Oh yeah. Did you get him? Oh, I did. <laughs> All right, guys, I got one. It's not a snake, but there you go. This is a American bullfrog. By the way they do this, they do a playing dead, but they're not really dead. <laughs> the struggle is real. A little leopard color, but anyway, kind of cool. Thought we jump out of the car and now I'm all muddy and crap, so cool. See you later, dude. Or go there. Go in the water. Yeah. Yeah. Special. Oh, oh, big one, big one, big one. Where? Right there. Where? Right there. Film. Oh, gosh, I didn't okay. see that. Ready? He's green. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, you are muddy. That's a big one. This is a bigger. Oh, look how green he is. Okay, there you go. This is a much bigger. American bullfrog. I didn't even see him at first. I had an advantage because he was in the, there was like a little dirt berm thing. Put this guy back. Oh, holy <laughs> torpedo. See how fast the thing went? Crap. Dude, I did not get this on film, but we got two oh snakes. We got a coral. Look how big this thing is. Holy cow. A sand snake and a coral, and a coral one snake. Stop. One stop, yes, dude. No. Oh dude, you God. yelled coral. It wasn't even in the road. Right there. He's going over the board. Dude, two two banded snakes in one stop, dude. No way. So we had that awesome coral snake, sand snake situation that happened. It's really cool. But now we've had like how long of a drought here? Almost an hour. We've gone like an hour of driving without seeing a single snake after that. So, I mean, we're getting cool stuff. Crows and crawdads. What? Dude. It's a lobster crawdad. We just cruised a freaking crawdad. Weird crap in the road. But we're hoping to get some else too. But we got some pretty cool stuff down here. Oh my goodness gracious, come back. Okay, this is probably the weirdest snake you will ever see. <laughs> Barely saw him in the road. You can see why. Holy crap. 
Okay, these things are literally like impossible to pick up. Here, okay. I got it. There you go, the little western blind snake. This is one of my favorites, a more uncommon species. I mean, they are relatively common, but hard to spot crossing the road like this. So I've seen a few in the past, so I'm gonna let him go. And, uh, but yeah, what a cool, I mean, look at that. That is the smallest freaking snake you will ever see right there. It's not a worm. I guarantee that is not a worm. As you can see, he can really, he can really get moving when he wants to. Oh gosh. See why they're hard to pick off the road, because watch. <laughs> there he goes. Alright, well I'm gonna let this guy get off of the road here. I'm gonna let him get out of here. There he goes. So we have a snake crossing the road right now. And I have a feeling it is something I really, really like. Heck yeah, baby. Check it out. That right there is a shovel nose snake. You've seen them in the previous videos before. But man, aren't they magnificent animals? Wow. Oh, he's getting a little bit uh he's getting a little bit hasty here. Well, there you go. A very mad shovel nose snake that doesn't obviously doesn't isn't a fan of me. I'm a fan of him, but he isn't a fan of me. But super cool snake. Can never get enough of him. Such a cool animal. Turns out this snake has the same color configuration as a Sonoran coral snake. It has red and yellow. It has the red touching yellow and the black. Whoa! He actually has the red touching yellow. So it shows overall that little rhyme or riddle isn't entirely true. So you can't see it right now, but I can. Literally just a few feet up from the shovel nose snake. Looks like we have a young California king snake sitting right in the road. So we're gonna go check him out. It's just sitting here. No traffic, no rush. A young California, oh wow, look at that. He's got, no oh he's buzzing his tail, he's not happy to see me. I'm sure as heck happy to see him, but he is not liking what I'm doing. As you can see, he's actually rattling his tail, trying to look like a rattlesnake. And look how he's puffing up his neck. He's trying to look bigger than he actually is. All right, I'm gonna, whoop, oh. Look at that, he's not liking the idea of me touching him. Come here, dude. Look at that. Isn't that something? I've seen multiple, but I love seeing them. Really enjoy coming across them, but it is time for him to get on his way off of the road, back where he belongs. And there he goes. Heck yeah, baby. You know what that means. Look at that. Look what's sitting in the road right now. You guys know what that is? Heck yeah. That is exactly why I keep a glove right next to me. All right, let's go check him out. Check this out. Another Sonoran coral snake. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one might be bigger than the last one. Holy crap. Look, another Sonoran coral snake cruising in the road. Just coming out of the desert, right into the road. Look at that. Look at that. Check this baby out. Oh, it's a little bit harder to pick it up. Look at that. That, my friends, is a Sonoran coral snake, and that is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot get enough of these things. Holy cow. Let him just cruise across the road. Oh my goodness gracious. There he goes. And there he goes. In the grass, there he belongs. All right, just pulling up on another snake. Kind of looks, starting to look like a gopher. Just flipped it around. Oh my gosh. No, that's a liar. That is a liar snake. No freaking 
Wait, that is a liar snake. This is the second liar snake I have ever seen. No way, you have got to be joking me. You have got to be kidding. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see this thing? Do you guys see this? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right guys, this right here is the one I'm especially excited about. This right here is the Sonoran Lyre Snake. This is a mildly venomous snake. There's no potential threat towards humans. Um, super cool snake they can be. Sonoran Lyre Snakes are more of a slender snake. So they're a thin bodied snake, but can get relatively large. Um, but they don't really get like that fat beefy look to them. Um, super cool big eyed snake. They remind me of the cat eyed snake that you can see in Costa Rica or there's even cat eyed snakes in Texas. Whoa, I was getting a little bit grumpy now. They're actually rock climbers so they'll actually, you can actually see them on rock faces and mountain faces and they actually um, rely a lot of times on rock structures so you won't find these in like low flat plain areas. These are actually rock dwelling animals because they primarily will feed on tree lizards and um, um, all sorts of different small lizards. But what a fascinating species. Well, thanks for watching guys. I couldn't be more happy with the way tonight turned out. If you enjoyed um, this night cruising video, if you enjoy watching me road cruise and go and cruising along the road and seeing snakes, let me know in the comments. And I'm super glad I could have taken you along and of course leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe do not forget to subscribe if you want to see more adventures crazy adventures like this and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching guys